This is a working Wurlitzer 200A. I believe it's like a 1972. It's an awesome machine. Anyway, and I just wanted you to see it. What I, what I want to do is I want to build a decent piece of metal. I want to make a decent piece of metal. Okay, this is a harp. Keeping in mind, this is what I want to cast. And I did a drawing. And I broke down all the edges that I would need. I guess you can see that, I don't know. Destroy that. Yeah, so I broke down all the surfaces that I need and just labeled them a certain number. And I figured out how they went together. And although this doesn't really look like it, this basically wraps around like a panoramic view of something. It doesn't look like it wraps around, but it does. So these are all the components that that I needed are all the surfaces, just so I could understand what the hell I'm building. And I cut the components out, and I just kind of referenced my drawings, and I drew in what I think is, you know, I think is is how I'm going to put it together and take it apart and whatever. So I've got little little pieces cut for different parts. You know, a reed base that would be that reed base. This is what I'm calling this thing. You know. I'm calling this top piece where the re where this all this machining is taking place the reed base. So I've got these parts roughed out. Now I measure them before I cut them. But and you can see here I've got the back of this. This is called treble back because there are two of these um, things in that keyboard. One's treble, one's bass. So I did that. And then if you see here, I have a, a bunch of other little pieces that I've already used. And that's because I've got this thing. So this is the start of my this is the start of my permanent mold here. This is as you can see it has got several <laughs> several sections, curves, corners, and hollow spots in it. By the way, I'm going to coat this thing with boron nitride. I got some and I'm going to coat my crucible with boron nitride and I'm going to coat everything that I'm going to put in the aluminum with boron nitride this time around. So there we go. I'm going to continue on finishing, finishing this thing. All right, I'm getting ready to, to draft, I guess that's the word, this spot right here. I'm going to clean up that area, get that so it's rounded like that. I don't mind if there are cracks in it like that, but I don't want the cast to catch anywhere. Same here where I made this little corner. I'm going to draft right around that corner. So, nitpicky stuff, but it has to be done. Clean this up. It's not really pretty, but this is not an injection molding type of a form. This is a real, really pretty simple. It, it, it's better than sand casting, but it doesn't have to be beautiful. So, a lot of these things I'm not going to worry about. I'm not going to go any further than I really need to. Although, these little welding balls look. All right. Getting all over these things. I covered this up when I weld. And the way that I'm building it, you can see I'm welding the crap out of this. So it's it's really it's really um, you know it's throwing off a lot of little lot of little also, I don't know what the hell they are. These little things. So these things like so and so and those are important to get out of here. If I have a bunch of them on the side here, the draft well, this piece will come up. Yeah, if I have enough of these little welding balls in here, they'll lock it in place, lock the piece down, and I'd have to destroy them all to get it out properly. That's assuming everything goes well otherwise.
so the camera actually didn't die. How much is that? The camera didn't. Die. So there we go. There is a a roughed out bottom half of a form that should make something relatively close to this. Oh, that's why that's not going down in there. Okay. We get it. Interesting. Every day in here. Just finished cutting little spots off the top of this. As you can see, I like to say that. There they are. Every time I make a cut, I clean this up because I don't want to track this stuff around. This is really dirty stuff. These pieces, this is the top, the, the beginning of the top of this section. This is the inside, and I've welded that seam so it's so when I grind it down, it will be a nice line. But this piece will go like so. I have to grind all of that flat and make it make it smooth. Maybe not pretty, but smooth. I have a couple things that need to do. They need to, to do. I need to deal with the internal sections. The, the little, um, these little walls around the voids, I believe are a little high. I have to make sure that those are leveled out. But not too, you know, I have to drop them down, but not too low. And make sure that there's not too much of a bow to it. So those all should hold that in, offset so I can put a bolt and tightening attachment here right in the center. It's becoming, I don't know, something that doesn't fall apart when I pick it up. So, what I did was through the voids, I went ahead and drilled some holes to clamp this thing down. I'm going to put one end, I'll, I'll cover, and then the other end will be the pouring end, and I'll build a gadget that will allow me to pour. And what I'd like to do is pour it at an angle, like so and pour, have the metal split as it pours into the mold so it pours down either side of the mold. Alrighty. Have a little more done. So now I have a way to close this up. These are just little, little bars of one inch by eighth inch steel that I welded on to each piece, top piece, bottom piece. And kind of look down in there. Well, there's really no light, is there? Come look at the bottom. Has been taken care of with one piece. I'm making a bottom 
piece. Now this is where I'll be pouring the aluminum. So this bottom piece is going to attach on here and I'm just cur curving that lip around and making it tight. I'll probably put a stud down in here to hold this piece on. Once again, I may do the same thing here on the top. And the, the idea behind this is that if you see there's a draft on this piece. So when I pour it, I'll have what is basically a funnel like that. There's my funnel. And I'll also have a separating, a dividing piece in here so that my metal is pouring down this and this side at the same time. That's what I want. We'll see if it's going to work. When I'm done pouring, and I want this full, is a reservoir for any it attaches with a bolt on the front. Actually, in the bolt on the This side. is built out of that same crappy 060 still that I built the uh, built most of the parts of the foundry out of. Just welded together and tacked in place. And what I'll do is I'll clean these, all these little tacked areas down here, here, and here because this this fits in like so. So I'll clean these areas down, and then this will fit snug so, in here. Here we are. This little partition, I guess, I don't know what I'd call it, a diversion device, is put in. It's ground down, so it's pretty decent. It's held in here. Cold again today, probably about 15 degrees, you know, 20 out of And let's get this thing started. I'm trying to go for 725. That's pretty cool. I'm at 731. As you can see, I, I had to beat the hell out of it to get it out of the form. As I look at that, that is awesome. Did some work on this. I had overflow here. I had to basically bend this to get the aluminum out of it. So I added these little wings. Notice, added these little wings here. This was just some scrap metal laying around. You can see it here. I'll spray some more, some more of that awesome stuff on here, that boron nitride. One, one look at this form. Here's what the bottom piece ended up being. I cut it into five sections. So it'll eliminate, I hope, the inability to get the piece out because the piece that I took out ended up looking, well, as you can see, <laughs> pretty bad. And then I've coated, again, just a real light coating with, with boron nitride. I have pure aluminum. 
measured out. Then I have a recipe for 713.0 alloy. And in this little box, <laughs> I have all of my components, magnesium, zinc, iron, copper, manganese, chromium, nickel, um, did I miss anything? Zinc, iron, copper, manganese, magnesium, chromium, nickel. And then I have my own homemade version of tie bore, which may or may not work. A piece of um, ceramic wool to wrap around that form, which is now up in the, up in my oven. All set up, I believe. Anything else? Seven fifty-five. I'm gonna pour at probably seven twenty-five again. Of course. Seven twenty-five. That's kind of exactly where I wanted to be. Success. This is cool. I poured a little slow, um, and my temperature was 725, so I, I know that I've got not a cold shut, but it didn't flow all the way through. Um, these nice thing about this alloy is I can weld this alloy. It's just 713, assuming that everything mixed all right. So check that out. That kicks ass. Um, yeah, that looks really good. So here's my first. My first example, which as you can see the back of it looks good and the front of it just went to hell. And my second example, which looks really nice, then the finished product is this guy. So you can see I've got to give myself some thickness here. Um, that looks pretty good though, and some thickness here too. But anyway, there you go.